If you just clicked on this video, I'm going to assume that you're running a WooCommerce store. And I'm also going to assume that abandoned carts are a huge source of lost sales for you. Still with me? I can assume this because that's the case for just about every e-commerce store out there. According to a study by Baymard Institute, 18% of online shoppers who abandoned the carts did so because the checkout process was far too complicated. Thankfully, that same study revealed that by optimizing your checkout flow, you can increase conversions by up to 35%. Knowing this, the team here at Barn2 created a plugin that's designed to help speed up your checkout process by adding a floating cart to your store. And today, I'm going to show you how to set it up on your website so you can maximize sales with just a few minutes of your time. Let's get started. A floating cart is just a quick panel that appears whenever a buyer adds a product to their cart. It works like a mini checkout cart that allows the customer to add or remove cart items and also change the quantity of each item without leaving the product or shop page. You can display your WooCommerce floating cart either as a pop-up or a sidebar. The plugin I'll be using today is WooCommerce FastCart and you can find it linked in the description or up in the card here. Obviously, we need to install the plugin for this to work. So after purchasing a copy, you'll be able to download the zip file and install it through your WordPress plugin page. Select Add New, Upload plugin, choose the zip file that you downloaded, and once installed, you'll be directed to the setup wizard. Here in the setup wizard, we can configure the plugin, but don't worry too much about the details as we can change anything we like on the settings page later. So under general, we have the layout options for the floating cart. We can either choose to make it a side cart or a centered pop-up. Auto open will automatically open the fast cart when a product is added by the customer. This is useful for buy now features, but I would leave it unchecked for the most part. Now you probably do want the floating cart icon and I would recommend having it on the bottom, but you can also choose the top center or you can choose to not have it at all. And finally, what do you want to display in the fast cart? You can either just show the cart with the items with a button towards the checkout, or you can include the cart and checkout on the same pop-up together. Now let's move on to cart contents. These options toggle what information is displayed in the floating cart. Depending on your preferences, you may want to disable or re-enable some of these later on, but for now, they'll do fine as is. Now we also have the option to replace pages. Choosing any of these will force customers to use the fast cart by preventing access to the standard WooCommerce cart or checkout. Obviously, you'll want to decide what is best for your store after a little bit of testing. And finally, for extra features, there are a number of other great WooCommerce plugins that we've designed to complement FastCart and improve the look and feel of your store. But for today, I'll just be showing you the floating cart. So let's finish the setup now. Sweet, now it's already time to test out our new floating cart feature in our store. So I'll add an item to the basket and see what happens. So straight away, we had a centered pop-up with the item and it has the button which will allow us to continue to the checkout, but there's no checkout added to the pop-up just yet. Let's see what it looks like when we change some of the settings. First setting I'm gonna change is from centered pop-up to side cart, so we'll see how that looks. And I'm going to disable the auto open feature. And here I'm going to skip the cart and show the checkout immediately once they open it. Now let's save those changes. Come back to our store, refresh the page, and let's add something to our basket. Now notice here we have the floating cart icon at the bottom. Let's add another shirt to the basket. And here, when we click on the icon, it pops up on the right-hand side, and it straight away shows us the checkout. So you can see how updating some of the settings changes the way the plugin functions, and of course, you have to personalize it for your store, however you like. One more setting I'm going to go back and change is the direct checkout. So I'm going to uncheck this, and we're going to be able to see the cart and the checkout together in one. Let's update that. Now let's add this to the basket. And when we view the fast cart pop up, we can see first we have our shopping cart, and then it brings us to the checkout after. 
which I think is a little bit of a better shopping experience than the setting we just had earlier. But overall, you can see how quick and easy that was to set up. Keep in mind that this plugin has a lot more functionality than what I've just shown you today. It can also apply coupon codes, make changes to cart items, and integrate with WooCommerce's product recommendation feature to boost your average order values. Make sure to leave a comment below if you need any more help setting up our plugins on your store or website. And if you're looking for more plugin recommendations for WooCommerce, I made a top 10 list for the best cart plugins of 2023, which you can watch on the card here. I'll see you all again soon. And thanks for watching.